I am on a mission to find the best soul food restaurant in New York City and New Jersey. And today I'm at the weekend spot and I'm gonna let you know if it's a hit or miss. They told me the wait was gonna be 30 minutes. I ended up waiting an hour. Damn, that crispy fried chicken. I spent a total of $60 plus tip. The Mac? The Mac is mid, I'm not even gonna lie. Let me get another bite. The Mac is like a six out of 10. It tastes like craft. The souffle. Whoa, whoa, we want. Unique, sweet, pineapple raisins. I wish it was a little bit more buttery and probably add like a little bit salt. The mac and the yams together creates a unique combo. I give it a nine. Fried chicken? Well, that looks good. I almost burned my esophagus. This reminds me of KFC, but it's better. Flavorful, juicy, good salt level. Definitely some grammar spices in this. Definitely. The bone, perfectly cooked. Damn. Kettle fried chicken. I give this a solid 8.3 out of 10. If you're not a big fan of salt, it might be a little bit too salty for you. But for me, I think it's perfect. I think it's good. Damn, that oxtail though. Oh, they don't have the Jamaican rice and peas. They have the Puerto Rican one. That's actually mid. Yeah, not for me. Let me try with some gravy. Yeah, it's still not for me. It's too salty and I don't like the flavor. Planters are planters, but I usually like my planters with salt, but let's see how it tastes. Right? If you don't care for salt, you probably give us like a, a 9 out of 10 or a 10. But since I care for salt, I give it like an 8 out of 10. That's tender. Yeah. <laughs> and that's some tender oxtail right there. It's so juicy and savory. I still prefer Jamaican style oxtails, but this is one of the best oxtails I had outside of Jamaican oxtails. Yeah, this is a solid 9 out of 10. It's mm -hmm. simple, but it's really good. And last but not least, dessert. They forgot my cornbread, but it's all good. This is the chocolate crunch cheesecake. I'm loving the caramel drizzle and a nice balanced cheesecake flavor. It's sweet, but that's some good quality cheesecake. This is a solid 9 out of 10. This is definitely worth it.